and welcome to my channel, Distinctive Crochet. My name is Priscilla, and I would like to thank all my new subscribers for coming to check me out, and all my returning subscribers for spending some time with me. All right, everyone, it is Monday, so it's time to work your whips Monday. But before I get into what I'm going to be doing today, I did have a little bit of an announcement. Um, a couple weeks ago, I took a week off and from the Work Your Whips Monday, and I was able to get um, some things done. And I am still kind of behind on what I need to get done. So I have decided to go ahead and um, take off Work Your Whips Monday for November and December of this year. So I will be coming back uh, in the new year. But I am going to finish out this month, so I have today, and I'm here. <laughs> but I will also be back uh, next Monday as well, and that will be the last episode of Work It With Monday for this year of 2022. Now, that does not mean that I won't be on video. <laughs> I will have other videos. I have a few that are actually um, some part of uh, collaboration, such as the Yarny YouTube Hop and um, some other things that will be coming up so i am definitely going to be there for those videos and anything else that i feel the need to share with you all it's just that i don't want to have a scheduled video at this time because sometimes i'm like um you know i need to get things done on this day so it would be more helpful if i can just um come on when i am you know have the time so that is why I'm going to pause on Working Whips Mondays um, for the rest of the year, excluding um, next week. I will be back next week for that um, last one. All right. And also, um, when I, you know, I'm not for sure just of yet, but maybe you guys can leave some comments um, below. What do you think about it? Do you think I should come back with Working Whips Monday? Or um, is there something else? that you would rather see would you just rather see the things that i uh, make just my finished items or um, any other ideas or suggestions that you may have i'll take into consideration i'm not going to um do everything that is said because i do need to do what's best for me at the end of the day but um some suggestions of what you are interested in <laughs> um it could help me to decide what i want to do um, I did have an idea of maybe uh, instead of sitting in front of you guys and working on the project um, for that session, maybe uh, if I have time to record a little bit of what I'm doing or maybe like a vlog style and then um, not actually set the video out until I have completed that item so you can see like the whole process. So, um, yeah, I'm just thinking about different things to make it uh, just a little different for the new year. <laughs> so you guys can let me know what you think about um, all of that in the comments down below. Please use kind words. I would appreciate that. And uh, yes, all of that. And, you know, while you're at it, you could just go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> that would be much appreciated as well. The thumbs are so very important, especially to our smaller YouTube channel. So please, if you have um, the ability to give the thumbs up, please do. I would appreciate it so much. And also, um, I think that's it for like announcements and what I wanted to say, share. So let's go ahead and get into uh, this week's episode. <laughs> so last week... Uh, I was working on, um, and a lot of you were asking, is it crocodile stitch? Yes, it is the crocodile stitch. Um, I made a rug from this a little while ago, and I was using Sabrina's um, tutorial, and I'll link that tutorial down below in case you're interested. Um, this is what I came up with, and this is sort of like a, a top-down construction. And when I originally, like after I got done with the rug, what I originally thought, was to do a panel in the front and a panel in the back and then possibly and it will go like across to my arms and it will possibly um, be a different stitch for the body i do have a top like that already and i'll put in a video of that me wearing it as i'm talking to you guys so you can see <laughs> so you can see that it has um 
the sleeves and the top of the body are, you know, that boucle type of thing, you know, on the picture. <laughs> and um, that is what I wanted to do. That portion would have been this stitch. And then the rest of the body would have been a different stitch. However, when I sat down to work this up, I just kind of forgot what my original plan was. And I just started working it up because I didn't have time to actually sit down and think about what I was doing. So as I was filming the video, I just did what felt natural to me. Like in the last few tops I made were top down. <laughs> so I kind of went into the top down autopilot mode. <laughs> but um, I mean, it's okay, but it's not really the idea that I had in mind. So I was just kind of confused of like, yeah, it looks good, but I don't think this is what I wanted. <laughs> so I am um, getting ready to frog this um, out. And I am going to, uh, I did have some time to think about it this time. What I'm going to do is I am going to uh, make sleeves only across, I think it's only going to be for the front. It depends on how much yarn I have left, but as for right now, my idea is just to do um, a sleeve for each arm, but only in the front, and then um, a panel for the body with the um, crocodile stitch for the front, and then it'll be like a totally different stitch in the back, probably just maybe half doubles or something like that, just a plain stitch. Uh, and then all of the patterning will be in the front. That is because of the yarn I'm concerned about. I only have four cakes of this uh, ice yarn that was gifted to me, gifted to me by Jeannie of Butterfly Dreams Crochet with Jeannie. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. So um, I am finally putting this gorgeous yarn to work. And I want to make sure I have enough for the whole top because um, I just think it would be awesome if uh, I have all the same yarn in the entire top. So I know that this stitch is going to eat up a lot of that yarn. So I'm thinking um, at least the sleeves in the front <clears throat> and then a panel in the front. I might, depending on how it goes, I'm not for sure if the panel will go all the way from for the length of the top because um, yarn. I'm going to have to see <laughs> how much yarn I have. So uh, what I'm thinking is I will try to do the sleeves first because I know um, I really want that effect. And if I just, depending on how wide the sleeves end up getting because um, <clears throat> as it, what I'm going to try to do is start off with enough stitches so that it's going to be more of a rectangular shape, um, you know, for the sleeve instead of a square shape, because her tutorial is for a more of a square shape. And I want to make mine more of a rectangle because I need it to be longer than wide um, for the sleeves. So depending on how wide that gets, uh, I may just make the top portion so that it goes across and flows like that um, top I showed you in the video. So it kind of flows across at the same width and then do the body. Um, a different stitch if I feel that's necessary so all of this is gonna be kind of a we'll see how it goes type of thing <laughs> so um but that is more of a plan um, than when I sat down last week and started this <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that I'm gonna start with the sleeve and um, hopefully that will work out well now since I I'm not going to be, since this is going to be um, my last two work, it was Mondays, I'm just going to continue to work on the top so that you guys can see as much progress as possible um, on this top. And uh, when I finish it, of course, I'll come back and show you guys. However, um, this is not like a top priority because I do have some other things that uh, we're supposed to be done <laughs> before this so um, it might be a little bit but when I get some time to work on it I definitely will because I love this idea and I think it's going to um, be gorgeous when it's done okay I'm gonna make it <laughs> make sure <laughs> 
All right, everyone, that was kind of a long explanation, so I think we should get started, right? So go ahead and grab your whip if you haven't already, and that way you can come along with me and get some progress done for this Work Through It's Monday. All right, everyone, here we go.
five one and I made it back. So this is where I got so far. Uh, I am liking this much better because you can really see the stitch and uh, I was able to work everything back up that I frogged and a little bit more the green is a little bit more and also I'm not for sure if I mentioned but I decided to go ahead and go with a bigger hook so this is a seven millimeter and thank you so much to my cousin bestie for the hook I appreciate it <laughs> And uh, that's Angie from Love Never Stitch by Ruby Baby. And also, I decided to uh, use the um, treble crochets when I'm doing this right here. So that way, um, it'll grow a little bit faster. And it's also very, um, it makes it a little bit less dense because uh, this is really, um, it makes a thicker fabric if you're using the recommended hook size um, so I want I didn't want it to be too dense because um, one thing the yarn <laughs> I'm trying to stretch it out as much as I can and also uh, that way it won't be too too hot because I, I normally wear uh, tops under my crochet garments anyway so I didn't want to be too too hot um, so this is actually supposed to be the sleeve and it is a rectangle but it's only like a stitch difference I mean um yeah that's the rectangle that's a long end so that's supposed to be like a sleeve so that comes it's about to my elbow almost um so I probably would drop it down a little bit more like that so I probably um I'll probably where's my wrist at? I probably <laughs> it looks weird. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'll probably maybe stop when I get to right about here. Um, just because they are gonna be so big, I don't want them to like get into stuff. So I'll probably um cut it off maybe here. So I really don't have that much more to go. Um Uh, I'm pretty excited about that and actually like I said that just, I am use just a little bit more of the cake so that was a really good idea so the, like I said depending on the yarn will probably um, dictate a lot of the decisions that I make when it comes to this garment so I'm not for sure if I will go ahead and make another panel for the back of the sleeve as well or um, just do a different stitch so but I am in, liking this much, much better than the original idea or the, uh, not the original idea. This was the original idea, <laughs> but what I came up with last week. So I am liking this much, much better. All right. So that is my progress for this week. Please let me know what you were working on and the progress that you got done. Also, let me know if you like this one um, better than the one last week. And I'm not going to have any new options because I am just going to come back um, next week and then that will be the last one for the year. So I will just continue to work on this so I can get as far as I can and you guys can see that progress. Alright, so please remember to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know all what you think of it in the box in the comments below and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>